Yo, 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 what's up, everyone? Who's <laughs> messing around, messing with ASU, looking at their stupid self. See what they got going on. It's half the hours. You know, a lot of people shy. Scared to take footage. Camera work. It was almost daytime. Getting off of work. You know how that be. But look what some people ain't up on around the world. It is Monday. I got to go to court today. If you want to know what I got to go to court for, it's fighting. I'm not proud of it, but I can't control my behavior and anger and rage when it be to some point. I can't talk about like this stupid stuff too much. But it is what it is. First Street. Everybody getting ready to come in from work. Some people leaving from work. Let's off today. Do what you gotta do. Hope it's for the best. It's like when I get on the camera, I don't respond in a certain way that I like to respond. You know what I mean? Some people be shy, intimidated. Others, they... They ain't really, you know, I'll say ready to just be on camera or taking photos. Just out the blue. Come with natural ingenuity and self preservation without being labeled that. Most young people from Infancy on to three years old, they naturals at it, but you know, we be pre retrained and educated to respond and act a certain way and uh, be attracted to be doing other things other than being ourselves. Because most of the time, I was, when you in, locked inside in your own confines of your own home or apartment, whatever, you're more security in that environment to be a certain way than outside. And you know, your relationship with certain people is not strong and sometimes it's not tolerated. Sometimes you do want to be around certain people. Some people will just, will just stir you down or, you know, you get mixed signals from the other end. You know what I mean? You might want to fight, argue, and whatnot. That's just me. The train's running late today. Construction yard out here. You know what I'm saying? Maybe there's a new uh, bus station right there. Downtown Phoenix. You know what I'm saying? I need to get me a call by the way. 
I keep saying that stuff be happening and change my plans. While I'm trying to overcome my illness up in here, that caused me a uh, you know, blackout spells, lose consciousness. Sometimes I can feel it coming. It's like a pre predestined seizure, and I be having uh, people watching me. So you know what I'm saying? Off the uh, view of a uh, electronic magnetic stigma going through my brain and other places of my body, which I heard a voice who knows where every damn the dude with a voice. I know every goddamn thing that can go back in my past with this goddamn type of technology and whatnot. Follow me, move my body a certain way. Mostly when I'm off guard and whatnot. But, had to tinkle real bad or uh, put the bathroom. Also, he can uh, use that strange technology to move other people, no matter where they be, as long as they got that same type of uh, design or protocol and that technology there, he can do it. And he probably ain't the only one that got it. But I kind of figured, figured it out. He try to catch him most of the time because he'll be on my head talking, be into my hobbies or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Like psycho hypnosis, uh, uh, like in, in that type of thing. Psychology, definitely. And, you know, manipulation, damn show you can do it. I'm listening right now. But you know what I'm saying? I'm coming over there. I'm dead, but not trying to hold you too long. But this with all of it that happened to me in St. Louis led me to come in here and change my life around and not believe in dreams because I had a whole lot of sickness and dreams there. I am less sick, less dreamy here, but still I didn't overcome this illness because I wasn't born with it. And, you know, I refuse to give up on my life or my health. Um, as you can see, uh, I am on one side. This word is that on the left, mostly. And my right side is uneven, so they, they, they're working it through there. So I'm not going to hold myself long. I just want to keep the documentary and keep myself informed of what's going on my uh, current problems. Yeah, I'll be unemployed, not working for anybody else, but I always have a job working for myself. And I'm gonna always keep that real, and nothing ain't gonna never keep me down. Cause anything they got out here, I already got. So if I want it, I gotta go get it. You know what I'm saying? Um, thank you for your time. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.